I don't know if you guys missed the memo this weekend, but there were a lot of interesting things that happened. We had a knock-knock from earlier 2017. By knock-knock, I heard this deck smash through the doors at a regional and got top eight. And you told me that in late 2017, after Zoo had been hit, that we would be seeing a Zoo Draco deck come out of the left field. Who you would have fooled me. So what's up, YouTube? Uncle 40 here. We're going to be profiling three deck profiles today. We're going to have a Zoo Draco deck list. We have a Paleo deck list. And we have a Spiral deck list from a 16-man regional. That's right. 16 duelists stepped up at a regional. This is this seems like a local level of it. But this duelist overcame four rounds of Swiss. I can't tell if this is sarcasm, but this man deserves a deck profile for his hard work and accomplishments at this regional. So let's dig into today's deck profiles, shall we? What a time to be alive. Ah, man, Steven Logan. Um, we have his deck profile over here from top tier Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to be borrowing the deck list. Uh, guys, please check out the actual IRL profile down below. Um, there will be a link in the description. And, you know, special thanks to the other two duelists for submitting their deck list. Um, definitely means a lot that you guys care enough to want this information. You know, between me and John, there's a lot of deck lists bouncing around. So if you guys ever have deck lists that you want to submit, come on, send them to my actual Facebook, Robbie Cole. I don't bite. Um, I, I are a normal person sometimes. So a lot of interesting things. This one wasn't submitted. This was an actual one that... Um, I saw being passed around. I was like, holy crap, you know, this top. So anyway, this is the Zoo Draco list. Triple Ash Blossom, Triple Baba Boon, Triple Draw and Lockbird, Triple Ghost Ogre, Two Masterpiece, One Maxi, One Bunny Blast, One Ram Ram, One Rat Pier, Triple Throw Blade, Two Whip Tail, One Shrew Draco Disciples, Triple Diagram, Triple Tenki, Two Desires, Triple Terraforming, one Heritage, Triple Barrage, and one Apocalypse. Uh, extra deck down here. One Invoker, uh, one Baguska, of course, one Breaksword, two Borbo, Triple Jockanine, two Hammer Kong, Triple Tiger Mortar, one Mrs. Radiant, and one Spiral Double Helix. Side deck, Triple Ghost Reaper, two Sphere Mode, two dra or one Dragon Buster, Triple Cosmic, Triple Anti-Spell, Triple Evenly Matched. Now, first thing you're going to ask... How does this deck win? Well, we're going to randomize this, and we're going to look at some of these hands. All right, so literally Balbaboon Barrage is literally candy. This gets you into Invoker, which lets you set up a rather large Xyz monster. Now, I was messing around with some of these theories, testing Pure Zoo uh, post-list. Um, I was like, oh, man, you know, like, what do you do about setting up your big monster? Well, Balbaboon fixes one of the issues that this deck has, and it's literally getting a monster out. So, I mean, setting up an Invoker to beam out a Whip Tail to start your combo is actually pretty fire. And as I'm seeing with like some of these hands, Diagram, Destroy Ram Ram, Recur, you know, and when you're playing as many hand traps as he is to fix the format. Once again, Baba Boon Barrage. Like, what is an actual bad hand with this deck? Terraforming, Whip Tail, ooh, that's pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. All right, this is Diagram into Pop, draw one. Pretty draco -y. Ooh, I, I'm done drawing this. This deck seems spicy. I, I kind of want to test this. I'm actually super excited. It's actually very nice to see something different than literally just invoked Draco or, you know, pure Draco running around in today's format. This is very spectacular. Very, very nice. Kudos to you, Logan. You you definitely broke the format. All right. The next one. hoo This was sent in by Douglas Tepper. Um... John, I know I already profiled this, but I told him that we would profile it. Um, he ended up getting ninth place out of 507 people. Super sad face. <laughs> Sometimes you just cry internally as you miss top cut. Ugh, sorry. Uh, two Ash Blossom, triple Dupe Frog, one Gamma Sea, one Max. Two Ronin, triple Swap Frog, triple Desires, one Raigeki. Main deck, one Chaos Trap Hole, triple Evenly Matched, triple Floodgate, one Imperial Order, Triple Cadenia, Triple Dynamiscus, 
Triple Morella, uh, Triple Anoides, Two Solemns, and Triple Unending Nightmare. This card really is gaining momentum in the more roguish matchups, which is spectacular. Extra deck, one Cat Shark, one Emerald, or one Phoenix, one and a Marlox, two Opabinia, of course, two Sky Calvary, one copy of the Cursed Javelin, Triple Totally Awesome, one Decode, and Triple Miss Starboy. Side deck, two Lancia, two Scythe, one Gamma Seal, of course, Triple Sphere Mode, two Cosmic, Triple Sanctum, and Triple Chaos. So, as I was saying, he beat Counter Fairy Round 1, he beat True King Dinosaur Round 2, Paleo Mirror Match, I can only imagine how grueling that is, he lost that. Uh, this deck does not look like it's immediately ramped up for the Mirror. Um, spirals, spirals, and spirals, and spirals, four rounds in a row. And then True King Dinos last round. Actually, pretty cool to see that Dinos got in there. Oh, man. Um, so, quick talk about Sphere Mode. This card is getting a reprint very soon. It is very important to understand that you are using this to out your opponent's Spiral Establish Board. You, if your opponent has Sleeper, Trigate, everything else... You just hand them the Sphere Mode. Your deck does not necessarily have to Normal Summon. Your deck can actually function on other axes, which is actually pretty important and actually kind of cool that you're not so resilient. And it, Also, to be fair, you are literally just set your hand the deck, and then you'll be able to resolve and play things as you need to go. And also, before I get any further, I forgot... I owe Fox a special shout out. He helped me prepare the deck list on Dueling Book with the white EKs. And I'm very, very sorry, Fox. I forgot to say it in the beginning of the video. Please forgive me, sir. It, re it really it really does mean a lot that you sit here and you help me while we're writing up descriptions and we're going through the list to make sure that we've got everything taken care of. So thank you very much, sir. It, it, it's always a pleasure. So this is the paleo deck list for you guys once again proving that main decking evenly matched and sphere mode absolutely very important cards in this matchup so all right so i talked about the spiral deck list all right this was in south ireland uh spiral still the best deck 16 people the entire tournament um he went undefeated uh this oh okay excuse me it wasn't a whole regional of uh, Spirals. It was just a 16-man event. Alright. Um, he played against Trickstars, ABC, Pendulum Edition, and the Mirror Match in top f four. Four rounds, no top cut. And he said he was home by 3 p.m. That's insane. A 16-man regional that ends at 3 p.m. Whoo! Um, this doesn't mean that Yu-Gi-Oh is dying, not by any stretch of the imagination. I actually believe that this is quite the opposite, actually. Um, that um, it is a smaller region in South Ireland, which is not necessarily a most populous region, but still, you know, they're testing things over there, and this deck looks very, very well built for what it is. So, Triple Ash Blossom, one DD Crow, one Distrudo, two Ghost Ogre, one Maxi, one Drone, one Last Resort, one Master Splanner, one Quick Fix. One sleeper, triple super agent. And there's that different dimension tech um, that we've been seeing floating around since the ARG. Um, is it good? I don't know. Not really a big fan of it myself, but I understand why it's good. Uh, triple double summon, of course. One dragon ravine. One foolish, triple foolish bar goods. One from one set rotation soul charge. One big red assault. Triple resort. Triple terraforming. One wire. Two rescues. Down here in the extra deck. One Ancient Fairy, one Recite Starling, one Baguska, one Princess Sprite, one Borload, one Decode, one Firewall. Interesting that only one Firewall, though. And also one Ib, one, two Proxy, Triple Double Helix, and two, one Trigate. I'd probably cut one of these for a Firewall. Well, you can extend and do the combo. Uh, side deck, Triple Draw and Lockbird, two Gamma Seal, Triple Ghost Reaper, Triple Cosmic, one Rageki, and Triple D-Bear. We're not going to shuffle this up. I'm just going to say that this is probably your most standard of standard, actually. Like I said at the beginning of doing this, DDR, one of the most powerful tech cards going around in today's current format. Just because they're testing things and they're very curious to know like how your combo extending, it's because of DDR, honestly. It... 
It's up to you if you want to test it. I'm also not a big fan of Destrudo set rotation, but if this gets you to where you need to be in your combo establishment, you know, then test it. Play it. So guys, what do you think about these decks? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about these decks. Haha, <laughs> we did it again. And that's all I got. Congratulations, duels. And once again, guys, if you have decks that you want to send in for me to review, please send them to my Facebook and I'll take a look at them. Alright, duelist. Later. Don't be a stranger, guys. I don't bite. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.